What's up everybody, my name is Daz. Welcome back to Motor Tick Mastery. I want to share today a, um, a short testimonial that I received a couple of months ago from a parent of a child, a young boy who's nine years old. And she went through my mini training and mini program for parents to learn some basic techniques to support a child to sort of relate to themselves again through a bit of breath work and grounding and shaking and things like this to come back into their body and she updated me with the progress and um, uh, how he's doing and wanted to offer this testimonial um, it really touched me I actually had a few tears um, um, pierce out of my beingness when I read this recently and uh, yeah I want to share it with you here so I did start on the parent and child program slowly three weeks ago and have seen some incredible changes with my son so I would like to share my testimony below. My son had an onset of vocal tics about six months ago that wax and wanes. He then had an onset in early December of intense and frequent head jerking to the point of causing headaches for him. Hence impacting his learning and attendance at school, playing in his basketball league and, um, and work for mum and dad because they had to focus more. We were leaning on Tylenol for the headaches and not dealing with some of the triggers or root causes. If I've said that right with regards to the headache medicine, I'm not sure. Between the paediatrician and the neurologist, they shared he has complex transient tics. The typical recommendations were cognitive behavioural replacement therapy and medication used for ADHD. Being a parent in the field of public education, I have observed the impact of this medication, what the impact of this medication can have on children. I also tend to take more holistic approaches as much as possible, so we decided not to go the medicated route. As we were much prayer asking God to guide us in helping to heal our son, we eventually found your online parenting kids program. My husband and I said, we have nothing to lose in trying some holistic measures and it can't hurt in comparison to meds. So we dove right in during our winter school break. We informed our son of the dietary changes we were going to make as a family so that he didn't feel alone. Removing refined sugars and gluten. This has been a game changer. We then introduced the breathing techniques which we began as a family and now he's doing them on his own. Specifically in the morning after a short time, 30 minutes of screen time and any time he's doing high intensity exercise like basketball. Yesterday during his game he had a few ticks, took a few moments to sit down during the break, did his breathing to calm his mind and body and got right back in the game. No headaches. As a matter of fact, he's had no headaches in over three weeks due to the dramatic decrease in his motor tics. His vocal tick of clearing the throat and sniffling have also decreased dramatically. After being able to observe our son for three weeks and collect some data on his triggers, we know that screen time, feeling rushed, anxious, nervous or excited can be some of them. However, the breathing exercises have played a big part in calming the mind and body. We also know that if our son intakes anything with caffeine, refined sugars or gluten, there is a direct correlation with the increase of ticks. Finally, I want to say that I'm incredibly grateful for your program and sharing your personal experiences with ticks and healing. Part of my son's buy-in to try some of these techniques has been that we knows a guy who has healed his ticks using these methods. There are no quick fixes and things are not always perfect. However, 
to see changes, we have to be consistent and do the work. It's been worth the work, and we will continue to follow any holistic strategies that benefit my son's health. Thank you, Daz, from the bottom of our hearts, Mariella. Hmm. So as somebody who has been now supporting and guiding um, people with tics and parents of children who tick for three years, hearing an email like that, and I've received many like this, but this particular one just feels like there's a depth of real gratitude in there and appreciation for and a well summation of really the work that I do and how I support and she really hit the nail on the head with regards to the important things that I that I share in my mini program that I felt like I needed to share it <laughs> um, because I felt a lot of love um, when I read that and it's nice to feel that the work that I do uh, really helps people and even recording this video and sharing my appreciation for the appreciation, right? It's part of the process to, to be able to share where, I, where I'm at and who I am and the humanness of uh, I bring to my work is a really beautiful thing, you know? I often feel the medical system that we live within or expect to help us with things like this, that they, there isn't a humanness to it. It's a very robust construct, mind, sort of boom, boom, medication, push-pulling mess. And she mentions the word holistic a few times. And holistic is such a funny word. Holistic. Yet it's something that a lot of people have become scared of in our world. Holistic medicine doesn't work. <laughs> And to me, like that idea that holistic medicine doesn't work is absurd, having been through what I've been through. And even the idea of calling some breath work holistic, it's just like learning to be relaxed with yourself. It doesn't need an alternative word, alternative medicine or alternative holistic medicine. It's like, you don't even need that. It's just learning to connect with yourself so you don't move your body by yourself. Like, that's the stuff that I teach. Learning to relax into yourself. <sighs> Learning to become in ease and at ease in a world that is seemingly anxiety-inducing and full of stress and fear and worry and pain. And it's like, can we just slow down and learn to let go of the intensity that we've built up inside of ourselves? Either as, if you're watching this as a parent of a child who ticks, then even though you might not tick, it is likely, if you're the parent of a child who does tick, you're holding some levels of stress and anxiety in your being. Because that's the world we live in, and we haven't been given the tools to look after ourselves really well. And so these tools that I teach... <clears throat> aren't often just for the kid, they're often for the parents too. And that's why I really love this testimonial as well, because she talks about how they did this and went through this as a family unit. The kid wasn't pointed to, we gotta fix you, son. It's not that. I gotta I gotta make sure my son's okay. I've gotta I gotta fix, I've gotta heal, I've gotta get it right, you know. It's like that needing to heal your son like needs to go. And like a trust that we are doing this together, improving our mindful and emotional well-being as a family unit. And I love, I, I love how she took that approach and went about solving this without a panic, but with a deep care, appreciation, a gentleness, a love, a consistency as, as the family unit improves their their well-being, change their diet together. They were a team, as opposed to a problem child that needs to be fixed, um, which is often the perspective I do see a lot from parents that reach out to me because they're so panicky. 
And it's that panickiness that often I see in parents that is causing like more emotional turmoil for their children. So we start with our own emotions first, always. And if you have a child who is ticking, I remind you in this moment to focus on your emotional well-being first, because it's kind of emanates from the parental figures, the, the emotions and the field of awareness. And the kid will just relax into it if you are cleaner, mindfully and emotionally yourself as a parent. So wonderful to hear that she, um, yeah, she introduced to use and practice this breath work. Uh, um, and it's supported and she's seen the results in such a short period of time. So this makes me happy. Uh, it, it makes me happy when I, when I receive emails like this and I often do receive emails like this. It's just nice to share. Okay. So much love guys. Wherever you are in the world, dear friends, um, I hope you've got something out of this video. If you have, drop me a comment below. And, uh, and yeah, please reach out or check out my website, motortickmastery.com. Send me an email if you have specific questions, daz at motortickmastery.com, D-A-Z-Z. -Z. Um, and, uh, yeah, check out the website for the programs that I have. Okay, so much love. Ciao, ciao.